Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is a collaboration that's hosted by Deb Hawk called Having Fun Making Jewelry. So we are in the month of August 2021 and Deb has given us the challenge of using dark blue. Now when I first saw dark blue, I was thinking navy blue, but lately we've been using so much dark navy blue, I really did not want to go there. Instead, I'm using these beautiful beads. These came from Potomac Bead subscription several months ago. And so that's my dark blue. And then she has two options. One option is to use teardrops or drop beads. And I have these really pretty light blue glass teardrops, or I guess they could be drop beads. And so I'm going to make a pair of earrings using these dark blue crystals and then a couple of these pretty light blue glass beads. And then option number two, she says to use seed beads or two hole beads. I do have some two hole beads, but they will not go with this color palette. But I do have these tiny little white seed beads and I think they'll look really nice with this. So I plan to make some hoop earrings. So I have these little hoops that I'm going to put the beads on. And of course we need some ear wires. And then I need a pair of scissors to cut these off. I've got my flat nose pliers. Not sure I'll need round nose pliers, but I usually keep them handy. And then my wire cutters. So the first thing I want to do is cut this and get some of the couple of these beads off. I only need two of them. I'll set those aside. And then a couple of these and some of these seed beads. I'm not exactly sure how I want to put these, so I may be putting them on and taking them off to see what I like the best. I'm going to start with using these little white seed beads. So I have one on there, and then I'll put one of these crystals on there. Hopefully they're going to fit. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, uh-oh. <laughs> And then we'll do another little white seed bead. I'm using these seed beads as spacers. Okay, once I have those on there, I'm going to put a teardrop bead on there. And then another little seed bead and another crystal. Okay, that one's not fitting, so let me get another one. All right, I had to go through several of these little beads to see which ones fit. They are not being too cooperative. But anyway, I think these really look pretty. I love the look of them. Very elegant. Now see if I can get these strung up. Hopefully I'll have enough of these little crystals that I can get another uh, one of these so I can have a pair. All right, I got lucky. <laughs> I had to go through several of those beads in order to find four that fit on here, but we did it. So now what I'm gonna do is this little loop that's already there. I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to bend it up. Like so. So now I need to make a little hooky thing to go in there. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers. See, I always need my round nose pliers. <laughs> and I'm going to just make a little hook. And then I'm going to stick it in there like so. And then I'm going to close it shut. One thing I neglected to say is that we're going to need two jump rings. So I got these little bitty jump rings. I don't remember how big they are. They actually came in the July uh, bargain bead box. Um, and they will be perfect for this project. So the first thing I want to do is open it up. Like so. And I'm going to thread that on there, thread the ear wire on, and close her up. 
and we have an earring. So I got way out of the shot there. So let me do this again. So you can actually see what I was doing. Got to find the opening of the jump ring. And I like this little tool because it helps you open it. And then you can thread that on there. Put the ear wire on. And just bend it back. And we have a pair of blue earrings. Aren't those pretty? Those came out nice. So we have dark blue teardrop, uh, seed beads. We got it all. <laughs> all done. Just a quick little pair of earrings. Deb Hawk, thanks for hosting this. I have a lot of fun doing these collaborations. I hope all of you go and check out the other participants. It's really fun to see the different things that every come, everybody comes up with, even though we have the same challenges and options. Just go down in the description box and you'll see the links to everybody's um, YouTube channel and you can check that out. The other thing I hope you all do is give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, but mostly I want you all to have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.